hey, um, Jameis Winston's going to have a Florida Lee on the side of his helmet. And he it's took an interesting move. And he took a deal with a base salary of one million and change with. Uh, incentives around the three and a half million mark, and I don't know how he's going to make the incentives. I... You have the uh, the information right there. Chris? Yeah, so a, a big time breakdown of Jameis here. He's going to make nine hundred and fifty two thousand in base salary, gets a hundred and forty eight thousand dollar signing bonus, can get one point seven six million in playtime incentives, one point eight million in playoff playtime incentives, playoff. gets a forty thousand bonus if he makes the Pro Bowl, if there is one. And has a max out of four point seven million dollars. That's if he obviously gets all these incentives. So Jameis Winston's wow. going to go to New Orleans for that figure, and a lot of, obviously a lot of question is is why would he do that? And uh, this is what Jameis had to say: being a part of New Orleans Saints, being a part with Drew Brees, Taysom Hill, Sean Payton, Coach Joe Lombardi, Coach Pete Carmichael Jr. When you think about that room. It's like a Harvard education in quarterback school. I wanted to put my ego aside, put the money to the side, and think about my family, think about my career. It was no better position than to be in the same room with someone that I really looked up to, someone that I admire since I've been playing this game and Drew Brees. Hey, um, first things first, I hate to correct Jameis on a, on a big decision for him. He's okay. The quarterback room is really – the Michigan of the East is really what he's talking about right there in terms of an education. Wow. I put the helmet right there in front of me. You know that. But Jameis went to Florida State. It's fine. Well, I mean, that's okay. By the way, Jameis, Jameis uh, could have gone to Stanford, you know. So he would know he would know good educations when he sees me. Again, I, I know everybody throws the word Harvard out there, but let's be honest, it's Michigan of the East. Stanford nobody, is Stanford being the Michigan of the West. Nobody says that. Nobody does. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No. Well, I just did. <laughs> hey, so and, but I, I don't blame him for saying that. I don't blame him for saying that. I mean, well, what's he gonna say? Well, what's he what's he's gonna say is is something that does kind of stick the needle. Like Arians, as we all know, is a quarterback whisperer. He's the one who did what he did with Andrew Locke, Peyton Manning, Big Ben. He did throw for five thousand yards with Arians right there. So why isn't he going somewhere touchdowns. to be a starting quarterback? Because people don't want the other 30. That's why. They don't want the other 30. You're telling me there's not a head coach or an offensive coordinator at, out there with, they don't want the with other 30. a big enough ego. Your coach didn't want the other 30. That says your th- your coach he's not going to throw 30. 30 in my offense. Your coach, didn't want to throw the, your coach didn't want the other 30. Your coach doesn't want somebody on a short field. Your coach doesn't want that. Your coach does not want to risk it, and the only biscuits are for Nike the dog. So well, you don't want to go from thirty th- interception to Tom Brady only throwing you know single digits each year to right. triple that. You don't want to do that. And, so I understand oh, Bill no, not taking the. Don't risk. forget, and, and again, we'll 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 have this guest on in hour number three. There has to be some form of interest in potentially getting out there against the Bucks and Brady. Now, obviously, if he does that, there's a considerable breakdown in what right. the plans for the New Orleans Saints 2020 season would be. Oh, yeah. In the same way that uh, Bridgewater got five starts last year, you're thinking if Breeze has at age now 41 a hiccup on the health front, maybe he gets out there and maybe it coincides with a trip to Tampa or Tampa to their building. That's got to be good eats. And it's, look, the, uh, in terms of a move for the Saints, what a great move that is. What a great move that is. Just great. So if if um, Drew Brees winds up sitting next to our our buddy Mike Tirico um, on the set of Sunday Night Football next year, if that happens in 2021, Jameis just had a whole syst- year in the system in New Orleans. Taysom Hill's got one year left on his deal, and and Sean Payton doesn't think that that's the way to go. And you've got a kid who's younger than 30, ready to go right here, and you know that the numbers this year won't require the Saints have to pony up Cousins, Dak type money. I think this is a brilliant maneuver for the New Orleans Saints. And it worked out for Bridgewater, who got a job in the division, three-year deal the next year. I think this is a great move by the New Orleans I, Saints. I still don't get it. You're paying Taysom Hill, a guy who you said is not the backup, 
but he definitely is because he's going to play he's not way more snaps than Jameis Winston. Correct, but you're he's not the backup. You're paying him 16 times as much as you're quote-unquote paying your backup. But he's not the backup. Taysom Hill's not the backup. Isn't it interesting to say he's going to have more snaps than the backup, but he's not the backup because the snaps he's going to have is not as the backup quarterback. He's going to be as the guy who comes in as the Swiss Army knife who comes at you because Sean Payton is just the right amount of crazy. That's, 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 honestly, Bree's, Bree's thumb blew up on the helmet of Aaron Donald last year. And Taysom Hill, I thought, remember I came here and I'm like, hey, don't sleep on Taysom Hill. He's going to get some, he's going to get a lot of snaps. No, it was Bridgewater. So Jameis will then have that role. why are you paying this guy $16 million guaranteed? Because. That is a lot of money because, for a guy who's not your backup quarterback. Because he's going to do more than just quarterbacking. And he could be the backup quarterback, too. I love what the Saints are doing, man. What does it matter? I mean, it's it's not as if that money's coming out of what they need at other spots to try and win a Super Bowl. They're ready to win a Super Bowl right now. And Jameis was a great move, and I like it. And I don't know what Jameis's other options are or were. Could he have signed with another team whose coach uh, might not be as tenured as Sean Payton? Probably. Could he have signed in a spot where he wouldn't have gone to the Michigan of the East of quarterback rooms? Probably. By the way, did you like how I just, like, by the way, it's not still, smooth. I guess it's on. not. I guess it's not smoothly done. If I have to point out how smoothly it has been done, <laughs> so I should back off. Why couldn't he have been the starter in Jacksonville? That wouldn't have been a better because spot Jackson, for him. I, I don't think Jacksonville was interested. How about that? I don't think Jacksonville was interested. Because again, Doug Marone. Doug Marone is. Cut. I mean, I know we love Gardner Minshew, Doug Marone, but he's not half as good as Jameis Winston. Doug Marone is. It's interesting. Sean Payton is also from the Parcells tree. Doug Marone is from the Parcells tree, like the fruit straight from the Parcells tree. And who's who's the ultimate fruit from the Parcells tree is Belichick. Sean Payton doesn't want these turnovers either, but I guess he's he's willing to to figure out as every coach can. I know how to get those those numbers I mean, down. There's not going to be any turnovers if he doesn't get on the field. And plus, he's had LASIK surgery, so maybe that's it too. Did you have Jameis getting signed before Cam Newton? Yes, I did. Because Jameis doesn't have to prove anything physically at all. Oh, I, I, that doesn't surprise me at all. Cam is, I, I, Cam is, I, I don't know. I don't know where Cam's going now. Not that it, Cam would have been an option in, in New Orleans. I don't know what Jacksonville's up to, and I don't know what your boy in New England's up to. By your boy, I mean... Um, Nike the dog? Nike the dog, yeah, is what yeah, I meant. Yeah. Yes. No. I have no explanation for what happened. There you go. <laughs> So I just find I, I like the signing by the Saints. And hey, look, if you could sign a, a contract for seven figures without knowing if there is actually a season coming, wouldn't you be wouldn't you want to get on that right away? Sign me up. Yeah. I mean that that that's gotta be It also seems like Jameis is willing too. to humble himself to be a backup and kind of learn and improve his game for the next ten years of his life. We don't know if Cam's willing to accept a backup role. Correct. Correct. I, I I am a, a fan of Jameis Winston's. Having met him twice last year in London and then in Tampa, and it can't be easy to again. I, I you know, I, I I know what it's like to have your entire identity ripped out from under you when the the first entity to hire you as a professional on a national scale, like ESPN, they called me up one day and they're like, "I think we're done now." You know, I'm not saying that the next anchor who filled in for me on SportsCenter was the Tom Brady of anchors. Uh, what I am saying is I'm <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying other than the fact that I know how Jameis feels, man. He's got to be sitting there wondering what the hell's going on. And he needs to find a spot and he could find a spot where he can take on Tampa and basically tell Sean Payton a couple things. You know, sign after the deadline for which the Bucks now do not get a compensatory pick and also just fire in the direction of Bruce Arians, the uh, quarterback guru. Yeah, I think I'm in a great spot. Coach knows how to coach quarterbacks, the Harvard of quarterback situations. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.